Good day, teachers. You've probably noticed that in Google Classroom here, here, or even here, there is something new. And you might have thought to yourself, what is that? In this video, I hope to answer that question for you. So I've been trying to figure out how practice sets are different and or better than forms. And here's what I have determined. First of all, it was developed by Google specifically for educators, whereas Forms was not. They designed this with us in mind. And the more important part of it, the answer is, is that it uses AI tools to help teachers build resources quickly. And that's something Forms definitely doesn't do. It doesn't find help resources the way that practice set does. Practice sets are an assessment tools teachers can use for formative assessment. It's adaptive with feedback for learners. This is something that you would use for supplemental instruction, for reteaching, for individualization, and for practice. The results of a practice set include a feature called insights to guide your instruction. So this is a formative rather than a summative activity. Finally, is it ready to use? If you teach math and science above the third grade, you'll be able to basically use this now. It's ready to go. Get in there and try it. If you teach language arts or really any other subject, you're not going to find those hints built in yet, the adaptive part of it. It's not really ready for you to use. So you should probably stick with forms until that part is fleshed out just a little bit better by Google. So here's a demo set that I made to try out uh, practice sets and see how they worked. They live in Classroom. Uh, to see the results, you have to go to the Classwork tab and you have to click this Review Work button. Normally you might go here to see students return work, but it saves a step to just click Review Work. So you'll see the individual results over here on the left-hand side. If a green check mark is grayed out a little bit, light green. It means that they tried more than one time to answer it correctly. Solid green means they got it on the first attempt correct. And of course, the red X means wrong. Um, you can see that Google's trying to give me some insights here into my quiz, save me some time in analyzing data. It's obvious what's wrong with this quiz. Um, number three, I miskeyed. And problem number five, I didn't miss key, but the students couldn't read it because I copied it out of a PDF and it wasn't clear enough. And I will show you that when we create. So insights, individual results, and then the deep dive into the questions live here. So if you wanna see how every single student answered question one, you can go here. By the way, students can get a chance to sort of explain or describe their answer, which is kind of a cool feature. And then here, they got it correct on the second try and the first try they chose this as their answer so you get a lot of very good information from practice sets okay so here's how to make a practice set unlike everything else in google practice sets don't seem to live in google drive they are saved in classroom um, i don't love that but they didn't ask me so when you go here they live right here and this is where you go to make one and you click the create button the first thing that you're going to want to do is give it a title since they're going to be all floating around in there together so that you can definitely tell your sets apart so let's do that now and to begin i'm going to type a question So for this question, I'm going to leave it a short answer and um, want the students to actually write in the correct answer. You do need to tell it the correct answer. The next thing you might want to do is see the kind of help that it's going to suggest for students if they get it incorrect. And in this case, they're only making one suggestion and it seems solid to me. So I'm going to click that in there and that's going to be the light bulb or the the help that students can have they want extra help on the problem i want to show you two other things in the create part of this one is that you can import questions from pdf so you go here it is going to go to your recents but you can pull those from anywhere upload and it's pretty nifty because you can pick more than one so you just start selecting problems and then click import the questions 
and it'll drop those in there. Do you see how it's an image? So this is where I ran into trouble before when it wasn't clear enough for my students to be able to read. So that's something you should be aware of. The other thing I want to show you are the math tools. If you're a math teacher, it will help you write out the problems. Yeah, you guys can really tell I'm a math teacher, right? And then the math tools can also be on for the answers. And if I pop that open, you can see all those wonderful magical math things down there. Yay, math things. Finally, while you're creating your practice set, you're going to want to click this try as a student button to see what it will look like and what kind of hints they will get. And so um, on this one, since it's short answer, um, they can just get the hint right away if they want to. And oh, it's a video. Sometimes it's a chart or something else. As a student, you can always open up the pen tool. You can draw in here in order to explain your answer or show your work, which is great. It's important to understand that you, as a teacher, do not have any control over what the help hints are. And so if a particular hint isn't working, you can change the search terms if you want to, but you can't change what is there. It uses AI and that is just the way it is. Students also see an extra help and that will let them in fact look at other resources for help here. When you're ready to assign your practice set, they are assigned in Google Classroom as an assignment. And you can see that they are right down here. When I click on it, it's going to take me to my two choices and it'll let me uh, say, yep, this is the right one. And then you click this button that says attach. And that makes that demo to practice set that particular assignment. I hope I showed you enough about this that you, A, know what it is and B, can decide if you want to try it out. Have a great day filled with love and learning. And if you need anything at all, see your ITRT.